Hey guys, so we got an interesting uh, video here. So apparently Russell Brand has officially endorsed RFK Jr. in a, a video poking fun at the Obama endorsement of Harris. I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit corny, but it is actually pretty funny. So let's just have a look. It's a pretty short video, just a minute 30 long, and then we'll talk about it uh, after like usual. So yeah, like I said, it got a little bit weird at the end, but I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty cool when you have, when you're Robert Kennedy and you have a very famous popular person who officially comes out and, and endorses you because Russell Brand has a big audience and a big following and could definitely influence, um, you know, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people, if not even more than that, to come out and vote for Robert Kennedy. So, I mean, that, that's, it's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's, it's kind of funny that they were poking at the, uh, Kamala Harris and Barack Obama. A phone video because it was very awkward and very cringe and you could tell Obama and Michelle didn't really want to make the call but they knew they kind of had to because there was no one else so I mean yeah every time you make fun of a, a one of the uniparty members it's it's always going to be a good a good fun anyway but also some even uh, bigger and better possibly possibly better news is that Robert Kennedy has now gained ballot access you can see this little gif here playing the purple states are all the states that he has gained ballot ballot access in and i mean look he doesn't have very many very many more to go <clears throat> right when he gets i think he's got seven more states and most of them are very small states so it's going to be pretty easy for him to get those signatures and uh, get that get the money required and he should be able to get that probably within the next month or two if not sooner which means it's very likely that he will be on the ballot in all 50 states, even though Democrats, of course, Democrats have tried to sue him and just try to stop him from being on the ballot, even though he's an independent, which has nothing to do with the Democrats. The reason they're doing that is because they're terrified of him. The reason they slander him so much is because they're terrified. He's for them. He's even worse than Trump would be because Trump is still mostly establishment. Robert Kennedy is not. So they don't want him on the ballot, but it looks like he's going to get there anyway. And now he's teaming up with a major celebrity, which the other two parties have. So that's good for, for Robert Kennedy Jr. Plus, as we get closer to the election, I would imagine you know people maybe like Joe Rogan and you know some other celebrities will also likely endorse him as well. More views. More people are going to be talking about him. He still needs to get into the debates. I don't think he's going to. Because Robert, or sorry, because Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are both cowards and they don't want to debate him. And we know why. We, you've heard Kamala Harris speak. It's just word salad after word salad. You've heard Trump speak. It's just, you know, it's just a bunch of horse shit. It keeps saying the same things, but yet he had four years to, to drain the swamp, for example. He didn't do it. He pulled his cabinet from and he's going to do it again. There's rumors about you know, Larry Fink being a part of it. Larry Fink is the CEO of BlackRock. The company that's responsible for buying up residential properties, not just a few residential properties, communities, and neighborhoods worth of, of residential properties. Which means that if you live in those communities, 
you're never going to be able to buy a house because BlackRock's just going to buy it up and they're going to have a cash offer ready to go. No financing. Here's the money. So, you know, it's just, it's, Trump is, you know, he has a big mouth. He's a little bit against the establishment, but not really. Robert Kennedy is. Robert Kennedy is a major, major threat to the agenda that's going on right now. And he's one step closer to getting on the ballot on, on the ballot in all 50 states. I didn't think he was going to be able to do that. But it looks like, I mean, he's well on his way. He's already got the biggest, most tough, toughest states to do it, right? I mean, California, he had to get a lot of signatures and they had to get a lot of money. New York, Texas, Florida, those are all done. He's on the ballot. End of story. Wisconsin, Arizona, they're all in the process, by the way. So he started those already. It's just, he's just got to finish up. Even if he doesn't get some of the remaining states, he's if he wins a lot of the states where he has ballot access, he could still win the election, right? So I mean, he's got enough, right? He he can he's qualified for up to four hundred and eighty electoral votes. He won't get that, and it's going to be very hard for him to get two seventy. But he doesn't even have to get necessarily two seventy win to win because if he just gets enough uh, electoral votes to keep Harris or Trump from getting to two seventy. That means we go to a contingency election and then we go to a a house vote. Each state now gets one vote. I don't know what his plans would be to win that state because, you know, house members are all either Republicans or Democrats. That being said, a contingency election might also end up in a tie. You'd have to get to 26 votes in a contingency election. That might, again, not happen. Maybe they just go, okay, guys, after that, we're going to just do a a re-election. That actually might be in Bobby Kennedy's favor because if people realize, oh, wow, he got 40 million votes. I was thinking about voting for him, but I thought maybe it was going to be a waste of a vote. But no, this guy actually does have a chance. So I'm not voting for Trump. I'm voting for Kennedy. I'm not voting for Harris. I'm voting for Kennedy. Even more people who stay home might be might start to realize, oh, this guy does have a chance. OK, I'm going to vote in a re-election. And I'm not saying a re-election would happen, but if the House, the contingency election ends up in a tie, they got to figure out something else. They got to figure out something else. The op- One of the options would be a re-election. I don't know what else they could really do. You can't just appoint a president, although the Democrats seem to like appointing their nominees. So who knows what will happen, but... This November is going to be very interesting, and it's going to be really interesting because of Robert Kennedy Jr. He has a lot of momentum. I'm telling you right now, he will, I repeat, he will get tens of millions of votes. He's going to get more votes than Ross Perot, I promise you. He will do better than people think. This whole, oh, he's going to get 2% or 6%, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind if you think that. He, he will get votes he will get more endorsements he will do uh, more campaign rallies his crowd will get bigger the voices will get louder i can't really do too much but because i'm such a big fan of his and even though i have a small platform i'm going to do my best to push him to, to try to convince my american friends and followers to go out there and just give the guy a chance we've had four years of trump we've had decades of, of republicans and democrats in fact almost two centuries straight. It's time to end the Uniparty's reign. Whether you, you know, well, I don't like Trump or I don't like Harris. Just get that out of your mind. It doesn't matter. You're not going to like either of them anyway, no matter who wins. Give someone else a chance. And that someone else also happens to be a Kennedy who thinks a lot like his dad and his uncle who were both assassinated because of their actual classical liberal and progressive views. What you see in progressives today is is not actually progressive. It's just just some woke shit. It's, it's, it, I don't even know how, I don't even know how to, to classify it, but it's, it's certainly not progressive because we're regressing as a nation, even up here in Canada. What progress? No one can buy a house. Crime's up. That's progress to you? People being taxed to death? Scandal after scandal? Controversy after controversy? That's progress to you? Both both of our countries, America and Canada, are going bankrupt. You don't believe me? Look at how much debt we have. Is that progress? 
<clears throat> you want to just keep getting involved in war after war? Is that progress too? You know I'm right. Just give the guy a chance. Just once. Let him have it for four years and let's see what, it, what, what he can do with it. And I guarantee whatever he does do will be much better than what we've gotten since 1849, which was the last time a non-Democrat or Republican was the president of the United States. 1849. Enough's enough. It's time for a change. Make the right choice. Because Robert Kennedy is the right choice. Clearly the best option. He's not perfect. I disagree with him on Israel and maybe one or two other things. But that being said, he's so good on, you know, healthcare and the environment. If you're a climate change activist, you should love Robert Kennedy. Look into his work. Save the Hudson River, for example. Go look into that. If you're into the climate and you want climate change, actual climate change, like cleaning our water, which we do need to do. Okay, if our, if our rivers and our lakes and our oceans die, we die too. That is true. This isn't some Justin Trudeau horseshit climate change where he just blames everything. Someone can get stabbed and he's, oh, well, you know, people are just really uh, irritated with that climate change and it's making people crazy and now they're stabbing people. He would say something like that. Everything's climate change with him. Robert Kennedy addresses problems. Trump has a big mouth. Robert Kennedy addresses problems. Kamala Harris makes a lot of word salad. Robert Kennedy addresses the problems. So on November 5th, let's make the right choice and finally stick it up the unit party's ass. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hopefully I've convinced at least a few of you to uh, give Robert Kennedy a chance. But let me know what your opinion is of him. Uh, what do you think? And really, I mean, just let me know what your thoughts are. I always like reading and re you know, replying to your comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate that. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really, really, really helps grow the channel. Uh, thank you so much for, again for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another.